I hope I get through this. I have an issue with my battery charger, it looks like. This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've put up a video because I've been going back and forth between here and Iowa um, for personal reasons, medical reasons. Uh, and so I wasn't able to put up a video and that will probably continue a little bit in December and January. I'm gonna try as much as I can to uh, film and try to figure out how I can edit and still put up videos because I really enjoy doing this and I really love interacting with you guys. And as long as you keep liking my videos, um, then I will continue to put out videos. So um, for those of you who are new to my channel, hi, my name is Shanti and I put out videos every week. I have been very consistent up until the last couple of weeks. And again, these are personal issues that I have that I have to get through. Uh, and I put out content mostly on Louis Vuitton, but I am looking to change that in the next coming year. So welcome to my new subscribers. And for those of you who are returning, thank you for supporting me every week. Okay, so today's video uh, is going to be something a little bit different. I have a quick unboxing that I would like to do for you. So here is the beautiful Christmas packaging that Louis Vuitton has out uh, for 2023. It is a very beautiful. Um, they did not have, I, I don't, sounds like they might have a different box that they are going to be handing out, but I got the regular orange box, um, but this wrapping is a little bit different. Usually it's a blue ribbon, uh, and instead it is a white ribbon with gold lettering on it. Very, very beautiful. So I wanted to uh, pick this up uh, for a number of reasons but let's do the unboxing first before I chit chat about it. Here is the dust bag and inside is the bandoulier strap. It is the monogram and black bandoulier strap, which is adjustable. It's got one, two, three adjustments, probably four because uh, you can make this even longer. Uh, I don't need even the longest one because it's a little bit too long. But um, yeah, so I got this strap. I will do a full review on this strap, putting it on different bags so you guys can see that. But yeah, this is the strap that I got. So that is the quick unboxing. Event. All right, so during this season, there's a lot of activity going on. There's a lot of uh, money being spent and final things that we want to get done during the end of the year and sometimes you kind of look at I mean if we're talking about your closet and we're looking at the bags that you currently have in your closet a lot of these bags are getting very 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 expensive uh, the prices on the new stuff that's coming out I just saw the denim uh, collection they have that you know online and not online on louisvuitton.com but if you follow Instagram or you're on Instagram, you'll see there's many pictures floating around of the new denim collection and the prices are just outrageous. Uh, everything seems to be pushing towards the $3,000 US uh, mark and that's just very different than I think some of us have been used to and I think some of us are tapping out on that, that deal. Uh, that, that really kind of changes things. Um, I have heard that sales, uh, for 2023 are slower than they were for 2022. So it's going to be interesting to kind of watch and see what happens on just prices in general and just that whole deal. I'm not really sure how the, uh, you know, price increases are going to work out for everyone, but you know. There are people, there are plenty of people that still buy luxury, still 
you know, can do what they need to do. Uh, that doesn't mean that's for the rest of us. So, um, I know for me, I just feel a little bit more cautious about, uh, buying bags these days, just that with those kinds of prices. It's, it's, it's out there. It's out there. All right, so with that being said, um, the other thing that you can do to kind of spruce up your bags without having to purchase new bags is to add charms, chains, use the things that you're getting from Louis Vuitton by themselves. Like there are stuff that they sell to you with the bags. That's one of the big upsells that uh, Louis Vuitton does is they'll take a bag that they've had in the past and they will remake it with a chain on it and then charge you a lot more money. So that's kind of their current tactic is to, is to have you guys, all of us, not you guys, is to have all of us kind of think that we're getting an upgrade and pay the extra for that upgrade. So it, there are options. So what I'd like to do in today's video is kind of show you the different options that you can have. You can buy charms and chains from Louis Vuitton, uh, or there are other options out there. Uh, and before I continue, I would like to thank Paul from Next Fashion for sponsoring this video. Uh, I will be featuring uh, some of his chains on this video, but I'll also be featuring some of the other things that I have just in my collection. So you guys can see how you can use current things that are already in your collection. Um, and you can also find alternatives that are not expensive as buying it from Louis Vuitton to kind of dress up your bags a little bit more, make them a little bit different. I think I read somewhere online it was very it was a very very good comment uh someone said louis vuitton is putting out so many limited editions that the market is flooded with limited editions it is so so true they are just pushing out limited editions like crazy to make everyone think that <laughs> that those are special but then everybody's carrying around limited edition the same limited edition so um it's just kind of different what they're doing real quick i wanted to just tell you what i'm wearing i am wearing uh l m's a comfy brown sweater and pants set right now um, i'm also going to show you my shoes real quick these are really cute tory birch slides that i bought it has a cute gold buckle there um, i'm wearing my roberto coin necklace i'm also wearing my diamond earrings that my husband bought me in. and then in my second hole i am wearing uh a beautiful uh earring from idol and we'll be talking about that in another video so let's get to it all right so let's talk about louis vuitton charms uh, Louis Vuitton charms are very, very expensive. They range anywhere from 400 and on up. They are not real gold. They are substantial. I'll give it that, but they are typically you're paying for the name. They are the ones that I have, have done very well. They are beautiful. They have remained beautiful but they are very expensive and I want to talk about some other things about charms the first charm I'm gonna show you I have on my carryall and it is this blue gorgeous charm this charm is a great pop of color I love pops of color when it comes to charms I think it kind of adds a little bit of flavor in your bag this charm I bought several years ago. The wear has been pretty good. It is still, it's not faded. Um, I would say one of the rings, two of the rings are faded a little bit, but other than that, they are in very, very, very good condition. I bought this brand new, um, I don't remember, many years ago, uh, but I use it because blue is my favorite color. And so I love this pop of color. The other thing that I like about this charm is the hook you can see the hook on there uh, it's a lobster claw it has louis vuitton on it 
it's very beautiful the other thing i like about this that i was going to tell you is that it is lightweight uh, i am going to show you another louis vuitton char charm which is not lightweight if i were to kind of repurchase i would not purchase that charm over again just because it's so heavy some of you guys can handle it uh, but if you're putting it on a kind of a softer purse it doesn't really work out but this is the one of the lighter charms that i really love um and you can buy these secondhand you don't need to buy them off of louis vuitton um, but obviously you want to make sure that they are truly a louis vuitton <laughs> charm all right the next bag charm that i have is also from louis vuitton this is the very heavy bag charm that i have I would not put this on a softer bag. I would put this on a more structured bag, which is why I have it on my current Alma. Um, again, lobster claw. It's in very good condition. It has not faded. Um, it has done very well. I love the colors on this. So I said I like pops of color, but this is very neutral um, and really goes well on, you know, monogram, damier, bean. It's really pretty. Uh, the blue one actually goes very well on the uh, uh, Damier Azor as well. But this this charm, again, I think they still sell this charm, actually. It's still on the website, but it's very expensive, very heavy. I like it. I'm glad I have it, but I'm not sure if I would purchase it now just because it's very heavy. The other thing that I want to show you is this key clochette, right? So Louis Vuitton, when you buy certain bags, they give you certain things that you can then use on different bags. And this is a key clochette, right? That they give you, <laughs> not that they give you, but when you buy a bag, you, when you buy an Alma, you will get a key clochette. You can take this and use it on your other bags. They give you um, a lock. Again, another beautiful feature of a bag that they give you. If they give you those things, use them, use them on your other bags. So, this particular key clochette is um, in the Damier Abin uh, color, and this would go well on your other Damier Abin bags. Uh, it says Louis Vuitton Paris. This one says made in France, actually. Uh, but this is just another way to dress up your bag, as well as the lock. So don't forget the accessories that Louis Vuitton already gives you. Okay, I wanna show you some alternate charms. Um, this one actually was given to me by X-Ray Gigi. Hi Gigi, if you're watching. Um, this one was given to me by her. She, you know, again, these, um, you can find charms in different places, Etsy, different places where you can buy bag charms. You do not have to buy a Louis Vuitton charm. And I wanted to show you that, yes, you can have other options and they can dress up your bag. This one is kind of a kind of a turquoise, kind of a sage green. It has three flowers on it. The gold has kept up very well. It has not faded. So you can buy different things from different places. All right, the other thing that I wanted to show you is, of course, the Louis Vuitton travel luggage tag. Guys, so this is one of the items that you know, I haven't gotten one in so long. I think you can still buy them. I'm not even sure. I'm, I would think that you could still get these luggage tags. But if you can't get it from Louis Vuitton, there's luggage, other luggage tags that you can buy from elsewhere. Um, currently, I have this luggage tag hooked on this luggage tag clasp. And this is from Next Fashion. It has a swivel clip, which I love. The nice thing about putting your luggage tags on an actual clip is that you don't have to have the pain of taking this on and off of your bags if you wanna switch them out. So having them on the uh, luggage clasp like this from Next Fashion uh, makes it, you know, that you can move it around easily. So I like that. And the other thing I like about it is I have had where I've put this on my handles of my bag and they tend to flip but if you have a clasp like this which Louis Vuitton I think they used to sell this I, mean, I don't think they sell them anymore um, you can 
put it on here and it lays pretty flat. So I'm going to put it on here again so you can see what that looks like. There you go. So this is the Louis Vuitton luggage tag that I got stamped. It has the Hawaii flower on it and it is on the Next Fashion luggage tag clasp. All right, this bag, I love this bag so much, but I, re when I recently traveled, I was going to use this bag, but my huge laptop doesn't fit in here. And I would have to like put it vertically and I didn't want to do that. So I ended up not taking this, but I love this Avora. Uh, I would highly recommend this Avora. The one, two things that I don't like about it. One is it's a little heavier because the inside is the beautiful microfiber like lining, but it's like, it's like old school. Okay. It's like the heavy cloth lining. And so I think that makes it a little bit heavy. The other thing is this strap. I don't like this strap when this is heavy. It's not comfortable for me. Um, that would be the other thing. But now that we have other straps and other things that we can use, um, that's why I am keeping this bag. I love this and I love the outer pocket. So what I wanted to show you though is the charm that I had picked up in Paris, I believe. Uh, went to La Durée there and picked up this beautiful French macaron charm there. I don't remember, if I can find it, I will link it in the description bar below. So this is the beautiful La Durée bag charm. It has the green tag on it and it is a purple macaron. And it has the pink little, uh, has this pink little charm on it as well, which has a big L on it. Very, very cute. And that's what it looks like on the bag. All right, let's move on to chains. So Louis Vuitton used to sell this chain. They no longer sell this chain. I don't know why I have my ideas on why they don't sell this chain. You know, in their mind, this is not something that they would upgrade and then upsell you, right? So I think they just took it down because if you look on their website, they're really pushing the, these prices and nobody's going to buy this for $500. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> but anyway, this is a chain that um, I actually love this because the clasp opens like this and it's very easy to open and close. So I love that about this, very unique clasp there. And then this has the lobster clasp here as well. I think that's called a lobster clasp. It has Louis Vuitton, it also has the swivel clip. So this swivel piece is very important because it allows your bag and whatever you're hanging on there to move with the bag. Uh, and doesn't keep it so stiff. So that is nice. This um, has held up, I don't know, I'd give it a six out of a 10. Uh, this is losing its color. It's fading a little bit, but, and the chain has lost some of its luster, but overall it's still in pretty decent condition. I would still use it. This is the jumbo 16 inch charm chain from Next Fashion, and I think it looks so cool on this particular bag. I feel like this bag, uh, so this is the Palm Springs backpack in the PM size. I don't think they offer this any longer, but this is, uh, I've had this since it came out. And um, the original charm that I had on it was the Louis Vuitton charm, which is this one. But if you can see, it's barely, like it's barely there, right? Cause it's very, very thin. I think the chunky charm looks a lot better on here. Um, it's also light. That's the other thing I like about this. Uh, this also has a swivel clasp. So 
it makes it really nice. The other thing that I added on here was is the, it's the little card case that I got with my Felici on the go. Um, this is also a functional charm, if you want to call it a charm, uh, that you can, you know, put your cards in um, if you want to get to something quicker. Uh, and I like this. I like the way this looks and I like that it's not heavy as well. All right. So in a previous video, someone had asked me about my keys and don't I have an SLG for my keys? I do. And I missed putting that in my SLG video. Totally forgot about it because it says I'm a car. I only have certain keys on there and I leave it in the car. The key that I carry in my bag is my car key. And, um, I, did I just I haven't been able to find like something that I wanted to put on my keys so I did get this from next fashion this is the key ring charm it's very simple it's not heavy it's a swivel clasp and for me this is good because I can if I needed to like attach this to something I can if you notice some of the Louis Vuitton bags have uh, D rings in them you can always put that in there. Always have them hooked in. I'll show you. Here's a D-ring. If, if, if some of you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is a D-ring. And the beauty of a D-ring, the whole point of a D-ring, is so that you can clip stuff on that you need to get to faster. Now, a lot of the cars nowadays, you don't even need to get to your keys anymore. But you can use this for that purpose. And again, by having something that you know, your keys are tied onto a clip. It makes it just a lot faster to move your stuff around if you want to move your stuff around. Okay, speaking about the Felici pochette, the Felici to go, I still have it. It's not something I use very often, um, but I do still have it and I use the crap out of it because as you can see, it's kind of lost a little bit of its um, shape because I have stuffed it to the hilt. Uh, I have fit my phones and my cards in here and my keys in here and maybe a very, very small lip gloss. Uh, but this is very, very cute for an evening. Um, this is also comes with the uh, green strap, which makes it more sporty, but you can wear, I, what I like about this and why I won't give it up is because I think it looks really, really cute as a uh, more formal type of thing. I really like this. This is the oval wristlet, okay, uh, from Next Fashion. I really like the small, beautiful links. And if you see, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna stand up for you. I really like the way it looks. It looks like jewelry, guys. I mean, this is the way you can dress up your bags. I really love this. It's very, very pretty. And it's a nice weight. This one isn't super light, but it's a good weight. It's not heavy either. And I just think it looks so good, especially with this particular item. Okay, another bag that um, originally came with a really, really long leather strap is the Ava Clutch. I still have this beauty. It has this beautiful plaque on the front. Um, so it comes with a very long leather strap, which I hated because it was so long for me. Um, and it also comes with this particular shoulder carry. If you can see, this shoulder carry is very, very short. Okay. Still nice. I still like it but it is short. Um, I, when I wear this bag, I would switch it out with the leather strap for, from my Alma, cause it was shorter. And that's what I did. I have also put on this candy box, gorgeous. I love this, this candy box. Uh, it looks like jewelry, honestly. And again, it's not, it's, this one is, I would say it's not super heavy. Um, I would definitely wear this with this bag, with the Ava bag. It gives you a little bit longer of a 
bag length, which is really nice. It's not like sitting up under your shoulder. So I'm really liking this particular chain. It is the candy box chain and I think it just looks really good with this beautiful plaque on the front. They don't do these plaques anymore. This is like the old school. <laughs> this is the old school Louis Vuitton. But it looks really good. It looks really good with this particular bag. Okay. Paul was so gracious. He sent me so many chains so I want to show you them. All right. This is um, my multicolor Mila clutch. Um, and this Mila clutch comes with a comes with a gold chain. It did not come with a leather chain. Let me show you. So this is the leather, or I'm sorry, this is the chain that it came with. It is also a Rolo type chain. I cannot remove it, so I can't use it on other bags, which is a real shame. It has a beautiful lobster clasp, which is nice and wide. But again, this is, you know, a particular length show you the length so it's not that long and it sits right up under your shoulder so I kind of matched the Rolo chain to Rolo chain so this is the this is the Rolo chain on the beautiful Amila clutch I just wanted to show you what it looks like on me Another bag that you guys might have is the pochette accessoire. Normally comes with the leather strap. This is kind of a chunkier chain, but really lightweight, which I like. This is the light curb chain. I will show close-ups of it on the pochette accessoire. And it just gives it a little bit more of a fancy look. All right, the final um, chain that I wanted to show you is the jumbo chain, which I put on this pochette Matisse, currently heavily, heavily in rotation. I'm constantly wearing this bag. I still haven't taken off the sticker. The sticker on this part fell off, but the sticker on this is still on here. But so if you notice, Louis Vuitton did another version of the pochette Matisse in the East West. And what did they do? they added a chain. So what can we do? We can add chains as well. <laughs> so this is um, the one of the thicker uh, straps that he has and not heavy, so it's good. I kind of worried though, to, like I worried if this bag was heavy, how this would feel on the shoulder, but it actually feels really good. And if you think of like, right, your Chanel flaps, I mean, that's a freaking chain that you're wearing, right? It's a freaking chain. So I wondered about that, but I feel like this is doable. I wouldn't stuff the bag because I don't want to carry heavy bags, but um, I think this looks really good on here. Um, even if you just wanted to wear it like this, I think it looks really good. Or if you actually wanted to wear it as a shoulder bag like this, I think it looks pretty good. So this is what it looks like as a shoulder bag. I'm liking it. I really like the way it looks. So you kind of have to match like the curb link to the bag, I think. And on this particular bag, this works. All right, so I've showed you a few different things here. I wanted to show you basically things that you can buy from LV and the things that you already get with LV, right? You, you get clochettes, you get locks, you get um, chains. A lot of the newer bags have chains. We didn't get those back in the day. We barely got, a, you know, different straps back in the day. We would wonder why they weren't selling straps back in the day. They were just really, really slow about it. Um, you get luggage tags from them. Uh, on certain bags, they actually come with the luggage tag. I forgot. I have one luggage tag I need to show you. This is another luggage tag that I got with the Odeon, Odeon PM bag. It is black. It has a gold LV on it. Um, some people hate this luggage tag on the, OD, on the Odeon PM. Some people are okay with it. I personally don't mind it. But again, okay, if you don't like it on your Odeon, take it. 
and put it on something else, put it on another bag. I think this would look great on this bag. You could put it on the side of this bag and it would look great. And again, if you have one of these attached to it, which is very helpful, you can just unsnap and snap on whatever it is that you like. I think this could even look okay on here. I don't think a black and brown look bad together. So there's many different things. So I've showed you Louis Vuitton charms, Louis Vuitton, you know, the things that come with the bags itself, use them, take them off, put them on different things, make your bags look different. I've showed you, you know, other charms that you don't have to go buy at Louis Vuitton. You can just <laughs> look online for other options. Uh, and I will look for some other options and link them down below. Um, as far as dressing up your bag, making it look different, may maybe want to make it look more edgy, maybe want to wear it crossbody instead of like right up under your armpit. Um, it, there's options. You don't have to always spend hundreds and thousands of dollars to get an upgrade from Louis Vuitton for some of the stuff that they're doing right now. So I just wanted to show you some of those options. Um, as well and Paul was nice enough to give a discount code Shanti20 so if you guys want to purchase any of the um, any of the chains that you saw in this video the keychain charm this which is very very helpful <laughs> in a lot of cases I really like this um, if you're interested in any of that and want a 20% discount you can use that discount code um, but yeah, it's important to like, feel like you have different options without having to spend so much money. Um, the next fashion brand is a Canadian brand, uh, but they ship within the U S uh, their prices are very, very good, very competitive. And, you know, on top of that, you're going to get a 20% discount if you use the code. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are inspired to use your bag charms as basically jewelry on your bags because that's really what they are. Um, I really enjoy uh, putting different looks on my bag. Another way to make your bags look different is putting bandeaus on your on your bag. So bag charms, you know, luggage tags, locks, bandeaus, chains different ways you can use the bags that are already in your closet. So I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, and I hope you guys have a really good Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming up for those of us that celebrate. Uh, it's coming up this week and I hope you enjoy the time with your family and friends and I will speak to you next week. Ciao.